eentje. God, zeg maar nog. Ja. Ik heb dus not allowed on the bench. Oh no, she's not allowed on the bench. Yeah, she's hiding behind she's the plants. Hiding. She's pretending that nobody could see her. Oh, now she's uh, <laughs> finished with the pretending. Don't do that to my popcorn. You're naughty. I'm leaving. I'm constantly watching you. Right. Yes. Oh, um, did you put my outfit in here? No. When it's winter, huh? Shops are still open when we arrive? Yes, babe, I do. Yeah. There we go, house. No, that's right. Bye bye, house. See you in a few hours. Temperature. Minus two degrees. Yes. We made it. Maastricht. We're having a little adventure. Mm -hmm. We have made it to Maastricht, but whether we get home or not, that's an entirely different story, isn't it? To the left. Oh. Na 200 meter flitspaal. Yeah. Yes. In the summer we made it back uh, and home in one yes. battery charge, but now it's winter. It's, it's uh, uh, batteries in winter. Not really that good. Mm. We went to a charge point, but like every charge point we go to, yeah. it wasn't working. Initially. And is that because of the charge point or because of your car? Your the car? charge point. No, the charge point here, but it was a yeah, defect, it says so. Uh, just, uh, it happens more often than not. And it's a big problem. If you have a hybrid, you can survive. But we don't have a hybrid. We have a fully electric car. So we are now arriving to the very beautiful city of Maastricht. Yeah, we and hopefully that one parking space is available for us. Yeah. That one. Otherwise, we'll just have to... Uh, one of us goes shopping while the other one stands on uh, watch. And... Uh, as soon as the opal and para leaves, <laughs> after it's been uh, plugged in for six hours. Yeah. It should just, uh, you know, the, the, the connector should just be spitted out after it's charged. Like yeah, it's really, um, <laughs> you know, if electric vehicles are going to be the way that uh, society goes forward in the, in the eminent uh, uh, reduction of fossil fuel, then there is going to have to be that there will be a transition, what there is now, and that is the hybrid car. So this is more the exception than the rule. Normally you have the Prius or the Opel Empira or the uh, Renault Zoe, you know, that's a yeah. fully electric yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you see, and you see them around, you see a lot of Priuses around, um, but they're not on electricity, they're driving on petrol. And what you're going to see is that, like now, we, we, we cannot leave unless we are charged. But a hybrid can leave if it's, if it's not Empty. charged. Yeah. So now we have problems where there is parking, there are charge points, but um, there is an Opel or a Prius in the charge point. Yeah, and sometimes I've seen them, the, the Opel Ampera, the Chevy Volt, and they have a green light on the dashboard, turn left. So uh, it means it's a charge. Yeah, turn left. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a bit. Um, hmm. La la. Adventure. So these are all houses with the well, shops on the bottom. It's not really a house, but mm, okay. And there. They give you such a, uh, a jolting pain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on a bicycle it's also a disaster. Oh, I got it. 
is afraid of. Oh, oh that was afraid of. Oh, bye. You and your fogged up windows? Yeah, we're <laughs> fogged up because we can't have the air conditioning on <laughs> because, um, well, we got to Maastricht and there wasn't a charge point available because it was being used by two uh, purely fuel uh, cars. Oh, yeah. So we blocked one in uh, and we charged, but uh, because it's not a, a fast charge, we could only charge uh, with the, the, the slow charge. And, it's really starting to snow and it's um, minus two and uh, minus two is not so bad but it's very slippery outside you, you can see from the road that it's like uh, uh, icing powder and it's really slippery so now we have to go we decided to go home as far as we make it uh, but we're not gonna make it all the way home because we don't have enough charge in the car. So now we have to go to uh, a hotel, which is uh, Ooh, nearby. We're going to a hotel. Yes, going to How much hotel. time have we got in a hotel? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we have to charge it on the slow charge. So um, Paul and I are both freezing in the car because <laughs> the <heat. it's>, uh, <laughs> and every, uh, every seven minutes we have to uh, defrost the windscreen <laughs> uh, because if yeah you can't have the fans on all the time have the fans on because it costs too much electricity so these are the joys of owning an electric vehicle in winter there is a lot to be uh, a lot to be um, researched in uh, battery power yeah, for I, uh, cold weather I don't think it's to be researched I think everybody it's just a fact except that <laughs> Potential customers have not been informed yet. <laughs> That's what yeah. I think it is. So maybe we should put this video on YouTube and tell and let people know who want to buy an electric vehicle. Be aware, in winter your range is just 50%. <laughs> and count on that. Yeah. And, Otherwise uh, you will be disappointed. Yeah, and you will be stranded. <laughs> <laughs> like in your case. Like uh, in my case. In the middle of yeah, the night. So yeah. that was also uh, that was. This is minus two. I, I can live with this. Uh, when I was stranded, I think it was uh, minus six or minus seven or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, we will see you at the charge point in uh, Falkensward. Yeah. Okay. Do. Yeah. Well, with such a shit weather, you don't have to feel bad. Driving that slowly. <laughs> no. There's a car that you had to bring up. Because uh, you're not telling anybody what the real reason is for driving so slowly. No. We feel ashamed. <laughs> uh, we don't want to be left on the side of the road because we just saw the tow truck take two cars that had an accident, so they're not coming back for us anytime soon. <laughs> Yes. Um, how, how cold are your toes? Um, the <laughs> right one, uh, they're pretty cold. Yeah. The fingers are cold. Mm -hmm. uh, over three kilometers. Oh, cool. We do that. Okay. okay, start acting. Hi. <laughs> well, we've had the car on charger. And uh, Paul and I went in and uh, we had some uh, dinner and we've solved the world's problems, at least uh, the philosophical problems and uh, weapons of mass destruction we've figured out is uh, actually just not true. So now we are going into the car to see if we can make it home, driving very, very slowly. And the last time I had to drive home really, really slowly because I had no power, it was, uh, it was not snowing. So I had to drive very, very slow and um, my hazard lights on and everyone was beeping at me because I was driving 50 in a 120 zone. But now it's snowing, so I have an obligation to drive safely and carefully in hazardous circumstances. So uh, come, let's see how much uh, uh, electricity we have on the uh, counter and uh, let's make it home. So, 
little bit more snow than when we left, huh? Yeah, it's shite weather. Snow. It's not wet snow. Oh, actually, it's a little bit wet. <laughs> yeah, I think actually. it's wet. Yeah. We're leaving. It's looking good for our passage home. This is a restaurant. This is the hotel where we were. Van der Wallek. Van der Wallek. It's a very big. Okay. Well, the weather has certainly changed, man. It's now uh, quite. Uh... Yeah, and it's extremely slippery. So we're really testing Paul's winter tires to their maximum. Uh, are you slipping? No, not yet. Actually, they're really sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're really good road holding these uh, winter so, tires. Are we making it? Can we now put the heater, switch the heater on then? Oh yeah, it's a little bit slippery. <laughs> So can we uh, switch the heater on? Yes, we may switch the heater on. Okay, so. then hopefully we'll make it home. Bye! Hello. It's cold, eh? We made it home with uh, 18 kilometers to spare. <laughs> we could have done 120. We could have done 85. Kilometers per hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, anyway, so we're home with all our goodies and uh, yeah, now we just have to uh, wrap them. Yeah, yeah. Oh. What did you really?